Tuesday section at home, a Zoom Seder, and those 7 p.m. claps. <laughs> it's all a part of history, and work is underway to document it. I do think it's an important time to also reflect on on what has happened and what we've all lived through. Amy Lau is an archivist at the Brooklyn Public Library. She's a part of the project underway at the Center for Brooklyn History to collect digital artifacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. It can be anything from images to videos to audio files to electronic documents. This started last April and the response has been good and interesting at times. I think one of my favorite ones is the squid dissection at home. Um, because I feel like it, it really um, is an, an example of people pivoting from, hey, my kid's going to school to now my kid's at home and I have to make this work. A lot of people at the beginning actually sent videos to us of the 7 p.m. Um, clapping and cheering. It's interesting because over time, some of those some of the submissions have changed. Another submission that I particularly like was a courage sign. Um, and you can see framed in the background uh, One World Trade Center. And I think it's a really good example of all the, all that we've all had to muster through this whole experience. You can already see some of these images and read the submitter's story on their website. The hope is one day they will have this be an in-person exhibit, even collecting physical items. But for now, anyone and everyone in Brooklyn should log on and submit. Please, please submit because we would love to have your submissions and we'd love to keep your history for the future. All to give people an idea of what it was like to live through this pandemic. Christy Reeder, News 12.